That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Well, we found a place to camp. I'm really happy with this spot, actually. I did spot this last time I was out in this area, and I thought next time I come back, I'm going to see if I can camp there. And um, fortunately, I found it again. So, time to get camp set up. I can see the clouds looking pretty ominous. It's been raining all morning and just as we arrived the rain stopped which is really nice because we get to set up camp in the dry. I can just feel a few light spits and if that weather finds its way over the hill here we're going to get some more rain. So first things first I want to get the tarp put up and then the tent. So I'm going to get onto that quick smart. Oh, did you enjoy that walk? That was pretty good, wasn't it? You were rearing to go. Stony Creek tarp. And the nice thing with this Dirta pack is you can open the bottom compartment, but you can also unzip it a bit like a travel suitcase you can sort of open it like that it's useful when you're not too sure where you've put everything can you smell your food I doubt it that's probably mine yours is in here and here I haven't got my watch on but I know it's not dinner time I know it's not dinner time <laughs> any time's dinner time that's what Indy says Might not need too many pegs. I've got quite a few trees here. Okay, this area looks nice and flat. So I'm going to set up here. I want to show you guys something before I start. Do you see that? There's this elasticated loop 
which keeps the guy lines from getting tangled up. So one of the things I'm going to do with my other tarp, one of the things I'm going to do with my other tarp, which is my DD Hammocks one, is actually stitch on some elasticated loops because it doesn't have that and I find it really annoying the way all the guy lines get tangled up. So that is my next project. For me, the ideal camp would be one where you get to walk in in the dry like this, set the tarp up in the dry, and then just after you've set everything up, the heavens open and the rain comes crashing down. Hello. Hi, beautiful. Hi. <laughs> yes, I love camping in the rain, and I actually get quite disappointed if I don't get rain on one of my camps. And people often ask, is it always raining in New Zealand? No, it's not always raining in New Zealand, but I'm always looking out for the rain and choosing to come out when it does rain. And we'll see what happens today. Oh, look at how soft this wood is. Ugh. I'm hoping to light a fire tonight, but I mean, I don't know if you can see this. I'm just going to bring it up closer for you. This is what you're contending with in really wet places. Can you imagine lighting a fire with that? Very tricky. <laughs> very, very tricky. So I'll see what I can find around here. The only type of trees that we've got here are beech trees and they are not good for lighting fires or even just for having a hot fire. But we'll see what we can do. I've brought two small but beautiful pieces of steak with me. And I'm hoping to cook those over the fire. Okay, that's where I need a peg. I should have put them in my pocket. There they are. Now I'm not too worried about this tarp being a bit flat on top because it's not actually raining yet, but I think if it starts to rain, it really is threatening it, I'm going to bring the corner down. This is such a beautiful spot. I'm going to show you around in a moment. But there's a lovely river down there and I can just hear it. It's just enough that it's in the background and I'm hoping it's not too loud for you. I'm always mindful of that. It's nice to hear the sound of the river, but not if it's sort of a constant drone in the background. <laughs> so rotten.
Cindy's gone off exploring. I think she can hear some. Okay, home sweet home. Oh hi. Hello gorgeous. I know, I did say that when we had the tent set up you could have your dinner. I'm going to get everything in the tent and set up. Oh, how could you deny this face? Come, turn around this way. Did you come? Sit. Oh, oh. look at this face. Indy, look. Look at this face. How can you deny this face? Um, okay. I'm going to stick to my word. I'm going to get my stuff in the tent, Indy, and then you can have your dinner. Let's keep that pig safe for when we have to put that back together tonight. You ready? Okay. Ugh. I'm going to have to go down to the river later on and get some more water. All right, I think it's beer time. Andy can have her dinner, and I am going to have my Good George Brewing Fog City Hazy IPA. Hopefully it's not too shaken up from the walk. Woo. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Mm. A little bit. It was so lovely and cold when I got it out of the fridge earlier on today, but it's not that cold now, unfortunately. Very nice though. <laughs> this is an absolutely stunning spot to be camping. I'm right on the edge of this hill just before it goes down into the valley and yet I'm not exposed too much. I've got the trees around me and a gorgeous view. It's absolutely perfect. I'm very happy. If it started to rain lightly I would absolutely be in heaven. How was that? Was that good? Hey guys, Andy and I just want to say a huge thank you to you for watching our videos. Thank you to everybody that supports us. We are just blown away by all the wonderful comments um, and subscribers. So welcome if you are new to my channel, to our channel. It's really lovely to have you along. Thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, then I encourage you to hit that subscribe button so that you know when my videos come out. I, um, I definitely get one out every second week, sometimes every week if I can. Oh, okay, you're going to sit on me, are you? Oh, hello, gorgeous. Oh, Indy just loves this. Don't you, pup? I call her a pup, but she's five years old. I can't help it. She was my pup, and she'll always be my pup. And she's such a lovely companion. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have to sit on me, though? Oh, I know why you're sitting on me. Okay, let me get the rug out and her. Do you want? Do you want your bed? Do you want your bed? All right.
You're actually probably quite happy just to lie on there. Good girl. That's it. Well done. Stay there. Now, one thing I want to do is put on some more warm clothes. Okay, I'll finish my beer a bit later. But I'm going to go now and get some wood. So this is the UCO flat pack, portable grill and fire pit. As I say, it's not all that light, but it's very portable. And it's a simple little concept, but it really works. One of the things I like about it is that you can shift it around. So if you decide it's too close, to the tarp, if it's giving off sparks, you can actually shift it around. Oh, I feel so much better with this down jacket on and this merino wool layer. Merino wool is so, so warm. Oh, that feels much better. It's actually due to get really cold here overnight. So I've made sure I've bought plenty of warm clothing. Right, I'm not going to take this all out because I think some of it might blow away while I'm gone. Let's go. So a lot of this is really rotten. I'm on the hunt for standing dead wood. Something like that should work. This is lovely. This is lovely. It is so sharp. Strong, which is half my problem but it doesn't feel like I need to be very strong with this okay that's lovely it's not rotten so that's perfect That bit is rotten though.
Perfect. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, here it is. Are you ready? Oh boy, that game could go on forever. And he loves a stick throw. Oh no! I think the wind got the beer and the seat. Fortunately, not all of the beer was lost. <laughs> well, it was a nice walk, wasn't it, pup? Yeah, that was lovely. And still the clouds loom. Come, come lay the board down and you don't have to put your, I know you're going to put your dirty paws on me. You don't, no, you don't need to. Because we're fine, aren't we? Because you're going to lie down here. I think you're getting a bit worried by me talking. Should we just get the fire started? This fire is so lovely and warm. The only thing is the wind's blowing in this way. Ooh. I'm going to get quite a bit of wood on now. I want it to burn down to coals quite quickly. Now there's nothing here for this fire to catch onto, but just to be safe, here's the water.
I actually think I can take this off. <laughs> it's that warm. I'll keep it handy in case things change. I'm always conscious of the fire not getting too close to the tarp, so we'll just keep an eye on that. Now believe it or not, I still have a little bit of my beer left. I don't think I said cheers to you guys. Hey cheers, thank you for coming on this trip with Indy and I. We really appreciate it, we really appreciate all the support that you guys give us. So thank you so much. Welcome to all my new subscribers. It's so lovely to have you guys as a part of this channel. I also wanted to say a special thank you to those people who have um, given us an extra little treat using the super thanks button. So some of you might not know about it because it's quite new to YouTube, but underneath the video, if you're watching it, um, then underneath it where the subscribe button is, there's also a little button called super thanks. And that's just an opportunity for those of you who want to, and it's, there's no obligation, but those of you who want to just say a special thank you to me and to Indy for these videos can um, donate a couple of dollars one dollar two dollars as a little bit of a thank you and um, we really appreciate that so thank you so much to those people who have um, given us a little treat because we really appreciate it I didn't realize until I started making content for YouTube that um, and this isn't a complaint from me but you don't make a lot of money through ads and as of yet I've the channel's been going for six months and I'm yet to actually get anything any return uh, that's coming I can see that I'm on my way but for the last six months everything to do with my videos the trips the gear the editing all the time all the effort it's all self-funded and I don't mind I really enjoy it and it's a passion for me and I really want to be able to provide videos free for you guys but um, it is expensive and Anything that Indy and I get through the Super Thanks, we give you our word that will go back into the channel. So that will go into buying India Treat. So next video, watch this space. Anything that comes through Super Thanks, I'm going to buy her a treat. Probably a bone. I'll lug the bone up into the bush <laughs> so that she can have a treat. Um, or we might put it towards buying some new gear that we can review on these videos. So whatever it is, I will let you know exactly what that money has been used for. So thank you so much. Um, for super thanks, thank you just for watching, subscribing. We really, really appreciate the wonderful community that uh, is developing around the channel. So lovely just sitting here and watching the fire. It's beautiful. So here are the two skewers that I'm going to use 
for cooking the meat. So I'm just going to clean those off by putting them over the fire. The coals are looking great. Happy with that. Probably what I need to do now is to cook the couscous. Because that's going to take a little while. Right, we've got the meat marinating. We've got the capsicum all chopped up, the garlic, the spring onion, coriander and parsley, and olives. And in the pot is the, is the um, red onion, but there's also sun-dried tomatoes in there with the couscous. Oh, this is looking beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna give that a taste and just see how close it is to being cooked. Mmm. That's doing really well. I think we need to put the meat on. So I'm just going to turn that down even more because I don't want it to catch on. It's almost soaked up all the water and I'm just going to leave that simmering while I get the meat whew, onto the fire. Don't really want the meat touching the coals. Right, there we go. Okay, I think I've got it just right. Whether you can see that or not, I don't know. Because you're probably getting smoked out. Lovely. So I've turned off the couscous and I'm going to add, I might have to use my light soon, I'm going to add the spring onion and the red peppers and the olives. And some salt and pepper. Oh. <laughs> and I'm just going to leave that to stand for a while just until the steak is ready. That is looking beautiful. I'm very happy with that. So here it is, you guys. I don't know how much you can see. <laughs> I'll do my best to show you. There you go. That is absolutely beautiful. It's, um, I think it's called pearl couscous, something like that. Anyway, it's a, kind of like a bigger couscous. Maybe it's like a Lebanese couscous with coriander and parsley and marinated capsicum, red onion, garlic, steak and something else, spring onion I think, olives, sun-dried tomatoes, the list goes on. Okay, I'm going to sit down and enjoy that and I'll catch up with you after dinner. How about that? Do you think you might want a little piece of that steak? I think we can do that. I'll set some of that aside for you. You had quite a nice big dinner, but all the same. Let's do that. I'll set it aside for you. It needs to cool down.
dinner was lovely. Absolutely lovely. The garlic didn't cook through perfectly though. Surprise, surprise. So <laughs> that was really strong. Otherwise it was absolutely lovely. I'm going to pack up my seat because tomorrow morning it's going to be an early start. I've got a lot to do tomorrow so I'm actually going to get up nice and early um, while it's still dark and um, walk out super early. So there's a few things I'm going to pack away. I probably won't do much in the morning except probably make myself a coffee. Um, and then get on the track. So I'm going to pack away most things, the things I don't need. Um, I also need to finish getting the bed set up in the tent and um, then because it's quite late I'm probably just going to snuggle up in bed and head off to bed. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get everything tidied up. Leave the cooker out for the morning. I'll put that over here. Inside, bedtime. Inside, on your mat. And uh, uh, not mine, baby. Not mine. On your mat. On your mat. No. Indy, off, off, off. On your mat. On your mat. Good girl. Lie down. On your mat. Your claws are too sharp to be on my mat. On your mat. Here you go. Good girl. That's it. That's it.
Spion, eh? Right, I think we might do it over here so we can pack down the, the tarp while the coffee cooks. Well guys, I don't want to shine the light directly in your, <laughs> in your eyes. So, excuse me for not looking at you as I'm talking, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining us on this trip. What a lovely camp. It was such a beautiful night last night, and even though it didn't rain, um, it was a little bit, as I was going off to sleep, there was a little bit of rain, just light rain, but um, that cleared up over the course of the night, and... Um, by the look of this early morning, what I, can, <laughs> what I can see of it, which is not a lot, I think we're going to have a lovely day. So, it's a quick little instant coffee for me. And I can drink some more of it in a minute and drink it as I walk out. And then I'm going to treat myself because I haven't had breakfast. I'm off to my favourite cafe. And... Um, they do this delicious roast vegetable and uh, this is not working roast vegetable and halloumi and pesto bagel so I'm off to get one of those for my breakfast and a coffee I'm not going to film on the walk out because there's not going to be anything to see so once again thank you so much for coming guys and Indy and I will look forward to seeing you on the next adventure. Won't we, Indy? Hey, looking forward to the next adventure? <laughs> Bye, everybody. Let's go, pup.